एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन द फ्रिक्शन को एफिशियंट बिटवीन द टेबल एंड द ब्लॉक सोन इन द फिगर इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइंड द टेंशन इन द टू स्ट्रिंग्स लेटस एज्यूम द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग ज्वाइनिंग फिफ्टीन के जी एंड फाइव के जी ब्लॉक टू बी टी वन एंड दैट इन द स्ट्रिंग ज्वाइनिंग टू फाइव के जी ब्लॉक्स बी टी टू ऑल्सो लेटस एज्यूम दैट ऑल द ब्लॉक्स मूव विद एक्सलरेशन ए इन द डायरेक्शन सोन लेटस ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ फिफ्टीन के जी ब्लॉक If we denote its mass with m1, then gravitational force of m1 g is pulling it in downward direction. Tension T1 in the string is pulling it in upward direction, and the block is moving downward with acceleration a. Writing equation of motion in vertical direction, we get m1 g minus T1 is equal to m1 a. Putting the values, we get 150 minus T1 is equal to 15 a. Now let us draw the free body diagram of 5 kg block on the table. If we denote its mass with m2. Then gravitational force of m two g is pulling it in downward direction. Normal reaction from the table n is pushing it in upward direction. Tension T one is pulling it towards left, and tension T two is pulling it towards right. Friction force of magnitude mu times normal is acting towards right, and the block is moving with an acceleration a towards left. Since the block is not moving in vertical direction, n must be equal to m two g, that is fifty newtons. Writing the equation of motion in horizontal direction, we get T1 minus T2 minus mu n is equal to m2 a. Putting the values, we get T1 minus T2 minus 10 is equal to 5 a. Finally, let us draw the free body diagram of the third block. If its mass is denoted by m3, gravitational force of m3 g is pulling it downward. Tension T2 in the string is pulling it upward, and the block is moving with acceleration a in vertically upward direction. Writing the equation of motion in vertical direction, we get T2 minus m3 g is equal to m3 a. Putting the values, we get T2 minus 50 is equal to 5 a. Adding equations 1, 2, and 3, we get 150 minus 60 is equal to 25 a, which implies 90 is equal to 25 a, or a is equal to 3.6 meter per second square. Putting the value of acceleration in equation 1, we get 150 minus T1 is equal to 15 into 3.6. Which implies T1 is equal to 150 minus 54, or T1 is equal to 96 newton. This is our answer. Putting the value of acceleration in equation 3, we get T2 minus 50 is equal to 5 into 3.6. Simplifying, we get T2 is equal to 68 newtons. This is our answer. In order to request solution to any question from S C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.